Hammer time! Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to Hammer Horror Month, also known as September. Now, this is the segment I'm doing with my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man, where we're going to talk about a different Hammer film every day for the month of September. Today, we're going to be talking about The Vampire Lovers. Yes, The Vampire Lovers. Now, The Vampire Lovers is a 1970 film, which runs approximately 91 minutes, and is directed by Roy, Roy Ward Baker. And he was responsible for The Monster Club, Death Becomes Me, and The Switch. This stars the gorgeous Ingrid Pitt as Marcella, Pippa Steele as Laura, and Madeline Smith as Emma Morton. The Vampire Lovers. I almost don't need to do a review on this. Um, this movie's awesome. God, this movie's awesome. The funny part about this movie is I was... Because I've seen it a bunch of times, of course. Um, I'm a guy. Um, and Ingrid Pitt and Pippa Steele and all the other women in this are absolutely beautiful. There is absolutely no doubt about that. But one of the things I noticed is it doesn't have much of a story. <laughs> but then again, it really doesn't need much of a story now, does it? Uh, basically, what you have is a family of vampires. And they are more or less targeting rich families in 18th century England. No, Germany. That's what it is. Germany. <sighs> um, yeah, even thinking about this movie kind of makes my mind a little wobbly. Yeah. Hammer was never known for its nudity, I think, until this film came out. Because Ingrid Pitt... I don't want to get nasty. All right, um... This film is a fun movie. Of course, it's part of the Karnstein trilogy. Uh, you also have the Twins of Evil, which we're not going to be covering, unfortunately. I do love that movie as well, of course, for a lot of the same reasons. <laughs> and you also have uh, Lust for a Vampire, which... Is it my least favorite? Yes. Does it deserve all the hate that it gets? I don't think so. I didn't think it was that bad. Um, of course, that was just me seeing it for the first time um, probably late last year. I'd always seen Twins of Evil and uh, The Vampire Lovers. I'd never seen Lust for a Vampire, so I finally got a chance to see that, and I really didn't think it was as bad as people made it out to be. Uh, the Vampire Lovers is definitely my favorite of the trilogy. Um, all the Twins of Evil is very, very close. Yeah. Uh, this is a really good movie, especially if you're a person of the male persuasion, because, I mean, Ingrid Pitt and, and Pippa Steele, I, I just don't know what else to say about this film. Other than the fact that in, in doing some research, I found that Pippa Steele uh, died when she was 44 in uh, 1992 or 1993. I can't remember which one. Uh, from cancer, and what a shame. Uh, she was gorgeous. Not exactly the greatest actress, but she had that look. That doe-eyed look that was just, oh my god. Yeah, she was gorgeous. Definitely. Um, check out The Vampire Lovers. Now, this is the old Scream Factory release. I didn't really see a need, and I was kind of really studying the film. Uh, not for, of course, those reasons, but because I was curious why Scream Factory put out another uh, version of this film. Um, and, I, I, you know, I can see some imperfections. I don't know whether they cleaned it up. Um, not really sure. And they turned it into a collector's edition. 
but you know I'm more than okay with um, with this version of it. I believe I also have the MGM double feature. I believe that has Countess Dracula on there as well. Um, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've been upstairs looking for it. But uh, Vampire Lovers is definitely overall it's a good film. It's just kind of light on the story, which I thought, which I find interesting because a lot of people and I've noticed that a lot of males. I'm going to be honest, you know, put it up there as one of their favorite Hammer films. So <laughs> it's not really surprising, I guess. But yeah. It's one of my favorite too, and it's for that reason. I mean, it's just, it's distracting. It really is. Um, I think the first time I watched it, I don't think I could tell you what it was about other than vampires because I was so distracted by the beauty and the gratuitous nudity. So, yeah, being honest. Um, check out The Vampire Lovers. It is a very well-done Hammer film, of course, that has beautiful women in it and don't forget to check out joe's review of the vampire lovers physical media matters and until next time peace